Okay, wadao, it has been long, long, long. Kama sija runda a new video ni tukangalia ya kando. Kawa siwasi. That is because of challenge. Kuwa mama, kutafuta si mzuri, ku almost kila kitu. So, but to merudi with full force. Okay, there is this video kwa channel yangu wenye kila mtu text. Chat ni kwa viral but najua uh, mtu ana feel vibaya kuhusu ya phone. Nataka ku clarify kwa sababu watu wataki ku watch your video wana huja straight kwa DM yangu nilisahau nikaeka namba yangu. Waliniambia ni watakia simu. Watu hawa ku watch your video wote waone kitu na explain. So leo nataka ku explain ya why without your mobile phone number na email number ya for simu yako basically haiwezi kutakiwa. ya mi out. Eh to assume simu yako ya yes to you email of which sioni kama kuna inaezi. Ndio kutoka iPhone kuna paid services inalipiwa. Samsung nini nini trust me. Oh ni believe you me. <laughs> Mwalimu wetu akizungu aliambia sema hivyo. Believe you me. Hakuna simu za yes to you email hadi moja. Oh ni main ni so you email nini ile inakuwa ameandikwa botini ama ukifinya star hash, six hash takuletea you email number. <coughs> So ibe namba ni ID namba nimerudia kitu mara nyingi ni ID namba ya simu wenye. Technically ilikuwa ilikuwa imeunda isichangiwe. But wasi ni wakora. I've been working with phones for the last 3 years na niko na experience. Yes na ngolewa yoke okay, ni illegal in some countries hata huko. So long story short when you lose a phone there are two things that has never happen. Either simu yako ifurai ikuwe ni rahisi kuflash that is ni these MTK phones kama um, MTK is kuna MTK ni chipset. Any there is a lot of information inahitajika hata na shida hata nitawa compress kwa kile na vitu mingi. Kuna CPU types the more your CPU type ni advanced kama Qualcomm Snapdragon yenye inapatikana kwa Samsung devices na kuwa more hard change hizo images na na ku yeah ku flash. So when you lose a Intel phone an Infinix phone a Techno phone then my friend <laughs> the probability of you getting back the phone is uh, very low unless the one who stole it ako tu ni mpoa so sikuja hapa kuwapia tu bad news chambi picha simu those companies they need to step up but the, either is there they are assigned at brim companies it is because if the company na keti huko chini kungangana the securities kuna wengine wame keti side ingine kungangana na vile watazivunja hizo securities ati the iphone na believe ni 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 sana next video nataka kutengeneza ni kuonyesha vile naweza ku unlockia an iphone in less than 20 minutes kitumia tu aonyesha kitu a windows pc kama hii hii inaweza unlock iphone ama ina ile phone okay ni kuja ku black so to assuming we have melusa phone na mwenye ameshika ameamua iflash the back door had a hard coded c2 domain pointing to a listener on Terrell's machine all i have to do is hack the registrar and change the name server configs anaweza toa pattern peke ama pass your passcode your pattern whatever you come lock now here the moment ume <coughs> ume flash kwanza tuanzie pale kwa ku flash okay hard reset that is ume finish combination ya hizo buttons uta hard reset when you are reset a phone this i'm trying to explain why it is impossible kupata your phone right when you are reset a phone it has squeezed to kutoka android 5 kutoka android 6 same ni assuming it's an android phone inajua imekuwa reset kutumia buttons so itabakisha your account most of times inakuwa google account ikiwa unatumia samsung itakuwa na samsung account when you using a mi phone itakuwa na mi account so nyingi zile common ni google account so kia reset itabaki na pari na kuambia please connect to wifi to, to continue kumaanisha si eti hata hiyo account iko kwa simu yako already you have lost everything but kuna waka security kadao kana itakuwa kwa factory reset protection in short inakuwa flp so kati umebaki na FRP uh, inataka uprove ni wewe mwenye hiyo simu. So nakwambia iweza iweke email email. Napenda email. Eka email account yenye ilikuwa ama uweke pattern uchora ile pattern yenye ilikuwa. So niko na videos kadhaa hapa kama hii ya Techno iko hapa juu. Nitaweka link. Na kuna hizi zingine kadhaa zimejaa. Sasa naweza bypass FRP. So basically kama mimi nilikuwa mwizi hivyo natafanyia simu. So already aina your account. So option kama ya find my phone ili ya gugu find my phone ili ama ili ya gugu ya nini iwezi waka njua una account na baki na option gapi 
ya email okay now kwa option ya email email by itself iko kwa hardware na tumesema ni inaweza chenjika sio ndaonyesha ku change lakini why hapa ni illegal tafuta ways google how to change an email phone ya simu fulani utapata hataki kushikwa so umebaki na email kwa hiyo simu haina account the only thing unaweza kuomba hapa ifanyike huyo mwenye riba aweke simu card yake bila kuchange email then at least there is a 50 50 chance ya kupata your phone back asume sasa ni mtu ako na software ju hapo kwa description ya video nimeandika i'm trying to create a software ya kutrack simu kuja kugundua ni impossible why Ah, uh, tuseme kampuni ya Tech Noma Infinix ama hiyo iPhone ikitengeneza, hii ilikuwa tu kama serial number. Serial number na email tofauti, but bado ni ku identify who is using this particular phone kwa sababu when you connect in sata SIM card kwa simu, huwa ina ina inaambia your carrier. If it's Airtel, Safaricom, Telkom, inawaambia ya, oh yeah. Mimi ni iPhone, wanajua kaja ni iPhone. Hizo email yako will consist of company yenye iliunda hiyo simu. So the first four numbers na inasimamia your company. The second number ina nini your country? Then kuna a unique yenye iko unique to your device. So an iPhone itajua hii ni iPhone, itajua ni techno, itajua ni flani according to email. Au tunaweza tampa nayo uandike zako zenye as much anything. All right. So basically hiyo ni ya kuambia Safaricom wadau mimi kuna mtu ameka simu card kwa simu yenye ni flani. So ndio maana wakulo kuna vitu kama kama ni kuokoa, uh, kukopa loan ndio maana wanajuaga ya umetumia hiyo simu kukopa loan tena kumaanisha uwezi kukopa nayo so uh, quick way around that ni kuchange email itakuwa basically a new phone siwafunzi eti kuiba so your phone the first time ina connect to a network itatuma email kwa kampuni iwaambie this particular person anatumia this phone so wakati kwa nini impossible that information ya which sim card is being used on what phone iko stored only on the your carriers database. Si ndio? Kwa sababu ni wao waliambi wao ndio wenye SIM card. SIM card yako inakuwa consist of nini? Encryption keys za your your phone number ni ya unique, unique ID. Haika like, kuna mwingine kuna phone number kama yako unless kuna technical mistake, si ndio? So, SIM card wakati iko kwa simu yako imeketi hapo kwa meza yako. Hiyo ni ya unique ni encryption key ya kusema when someone calls you, then ikipiga itaenda for the next maybe at 10 cell tower zenye ziko around hapa then itatafuta nani yako na hii namba nani nani oh, ah ah ako hii side itakurut so only your carrier can anaweza jua anaweza jua ni email gani imetumiwa kwa simu gani uh, polisi wanajua aje polisi kama jeu soma terms and conditions za hizo kampuni nitaangalia in details niwekee hapa article kwa screen sinasema ga you are become either doctor to patient confidentiality most tech companies huwa wanaandika kwa terms zao you protect your data na privacy but all if a uh, higher authority na request your data they have no option than to give it so in, in circumstances where when you are you are wanted or something the authorities they have the authority <laughs> to take your data from them so arena bada ataangalia kwa simu card gani safari kwa mke atapiga tu simu safi oya niangalie kenozi hapo So basically the computer like all your locks ah tuseme ni riba simu yako siku change email niweka simu card ndio juu account ilitoka kuna vile ita communicate hizi simu yetu kuna internet iko na gps but how do you access the phone kuiambia send me your location see it's impossible so ukiona kwa police wanafanya aje they have your email number watatuma ni email number kwa akalia kama ilikuwa safari kwa mama ya Telkom Telco. Namwambie enter hiyo email number kwa ya system uone all the phone numbers that is shall registered using that email ama all the phone numbers shall yeka kwa hiyo simu yenye hiyo email yake. Very easy. So that data be sound ah kuna huyu alikuwa anapiga nayo. Then waingie kwa logs za hiyo number. Oh huyu jamaa alikuwa ameenda. They have all your information. So when your email is tampered with that's it you can. So police wako na phone number but they don't have you yet they have your phone numbers then na ingia kwa database hiyo ingine ya phone numbers kwa nini phone number yako itete your id number ndio ikiata your id number id number kwa na full names your full names sina match any other documents kama your parents siko hapo ndio your parents wako miandiko kwa birth certificate 
Pele nzu wako kuna spouse. Bibi yake yako hapo. So basically wasi kupata wewe, wata kosa hawa watu wengine. Siona? Tema hiyo ni long way. Ile ni wata kutafuta mugu. The other way, they have your phone number, siyo? Kwa bahati mbaya ama mzuri yukuo kwa honu. Watajiwaje? Watatumia metho ni netekwa pinging. Pinging, this is what happens every time you make a call. Ukipika call, kuna hile duration unasikia ya some few seconds before you connect. Yanzo kusema tu, hui na nyamata. Hiyo pili duna nyamata inakuwa ina kulocate. Ina, ina ping, ina tumaga request. Ya network. Eyo, ni kama inainua mkwano kwa daro. Excuse me sir, I want to talk. Then you can say, excuse me network, I want to communicate to the, this particular person. Then in, kama the resources are available, network, kama kuna jamming, kuna... Kama resources are available, then you can connect. Kama unajua kawe ni mzee kama sisi, you know, kitambo yuku utaka kumake call, unapiga kwa station, unauliza yo, nataka kuungena mzee. Zero, zero. Rockland 9900, zero, zero. one moment. Thank you. Hello. Number, please. Operator? 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 That line's busy. Hello. Thank you. Sign is automatic. I'm going to call you the system. Oh, this is the story. Police will call you. Or you will not have to call you. You know? So, the pinging method that I have to call you. When you have to call you, I have to call you the zero, zero class messages. This is the same thing. You have to call you. Umemaliza call kupiga, most tips of Falcom, wanakuambia you have spent 24 shillings. Spend that more today to get your store bonus. Mwana mesi nisika hizo. So nye u pop up, they have permissions to display over other applications. Na, it is save, itakupe yu option, save message ama discard. Hizo ni still class messages. Uta, in case usipo save ama usiyone, italimeni kwa kiyo. But what if you send a blank message? Aida kuwa stalled kwa simu yako, so ita prompt, auta yona juni blank, na ito kuwa asha ajua, your location, watajua aje. Well, sa hii juu ya simu yako, sikino strength yake si kubwa, inafika samu ya tseme 200 meters. Then, but ya cell tower, cell tower sukuwa na range ya, sukuwa shuwa but roughly, kama za wifi inandaka 30 kilometers, kumanisha the big cell towers, sikuwa na more range, 30 kilometers. Then when your phone is replying back, kusema ni meconnect, mimi ni kwa hapa, kati yulizo, ya waneta kupigia, ikainua mkone kasema yes, ni pigie. The ping communication, ama kwa databases, kwa servers, nita kwa hardshake. Iyo hardshake ndo yu kubali communication. So, wakati yu message natravel kutoka kwa yu ping natravel kutoka kwa yu phone to the cell tower, kuna duration it take. So, time, time taken kutravel from in to e point ni zapiana distance. Kenda? ama signal strength. Juhu the more the farthest, the signal strength kwa puwa the closest, pigina. So wana izangalia, the next kwa hizi four towers, cell towers, hizi hizi itaka boosters, ni gani, kuna weakest signal, wana cross out moja, wana paki na tatu. Then, si wana paki na tatu, wana angalia distance ya kutoka cell tower one, wana wana ni ikuwa 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers wana chora dot, siyo? Wana tumia hiyo ikuwa radius, kutoka mali, Cell tower hiko, radius ya 10 km na chora sako. Wakoshua, wakoshua uko mali 10 km kwa hii sako. From hapo kwa hiyo cell tower. So wajui direction. Sindo? Wani kwa cell tower number 2. Ama booster. Wajue uko 30 km from hii cell tower. Radius ya 30 km, chora sako. So, kule mali sasa kumbi istashikania. Patubaru meza kuwa kutoka kwa hii, paka kwa hii, kuna karenji ya wakoshua ni wapi sana but wame jua direction, si nyuma, ni hii side. Wakipata cell tower number 3, my friend, if you did geometry, the 3 circles you intercept at a point. Hiyo ndi your precise location. Apo, endo hao, kwa kurusa. Chanda masenki wa senge. My friend, mbio mbio, ana ukujia hapa mbio sana. So, so I was explaining why it is 3 points. Why it is impossible to track your phone using only your email number and why only the authorities and your service provider ama Safaricom, Telecom, and if you are in Kenya can track your phone so what do you 
that was that for the day. Thanks for watching. As always, my name is David. This is Simtech. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hi guys, don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, and like. See you in the next video. Peace.